Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Noam Chomsky is not just one of the world's most famous academics. His work on linguistics has shaped the field in the modern era. He's also one of the world's most famous supporters of the political left. He's been at the University of Reading this evening, giving a lecture on the state of Western democracy. Now imagine it from his point of view. He's 88, he's campaigned for socialism for decades, against the grain of his fellow Americans. And just as rage at social injustice erupts and there's an overthrow of establishment thinking, he finds it's President Trump in office. For him, exactly the wrong kind of anger. Well, I went over to Reading this afternoon to talk to him about everything that is going on, and I asked what, what it was about Donald Trump that appealed to American voters. What is the alternative? The Democrats gave up on the working class 40 years ago. They, that's just, the, the, the working class is not their constituency. Uh, no one is, their, uh, no, no one in the political system is. The Republicans claim to be, but they're basically their class enemy. However, they can appeal to people on the basis of claims about uh, religion, uh, uh, white supremacy. Uh, so you think there was quite a, a racist motivation? Oh, there, there's one. no doubt about right. that. By what now, there's a lot we, of. Are we talking three percent of the voters? Thirty well, percent? Or percent? You can argue I mean, about. But roughly, but it's, a, it's a substantial streak. Uh, re fundamentalist religion is a substantial streak. Uh, Trump uh, uh, took a, an enormous uh, uh, quantity of the uh, Christian fundamentalists who are a big uh, segment of the U.S. population. I remember in uh, the United States about maybe 40 percent of the population I think uh, the second coming is going to be in their lifetimes. Uh, Two-thirds think it's coming sooner or later. This is, the United States is off the spectrum in this respect. Do you think Trump will do much damage while he's there? And will it be permanent damage to the institutions of the US? Or do you think well, he'll I be temporary I think the main phase? damage he'll do is uh, to the world, and it's already happening. Uh, the most significant aspect of the Trump election, and it's not just Trump, it's the whole Republican Party, is their departing from the rest of the world on climate change. You've called the Republican Party the most dangerous organization on earth. In human history. There has never, it's an outrageous statement and I, when I said it, I said, look, this is a very outrageous statement, but is it true? Uh, has but you're, you're, you're rating them worse than the Kim Jong-un of North Korea or ISIS who are very... Is, is ISIS dedicated to trying to destroy the prospects for organized human existence. Right, is that bad, the Republican well, what Party? what does it mean to say, not only we're not doing anything about climate change, but we're trying to accelerate the race uh, to the press? And, and you don't entertain the possibility that they may be genuine in their belief that this is... It doesn't matter whether they genuinely believe it or not. But if, that, if the consequence of that is, let's use more fossil fuels, let's refuse to subsidize uh, co developing countries, uh, if that's the consequence, that's extremely dangerous. Macron won the French election, Emmanuel Macron, uh, an internationalist, liberal, uh, loves the EU, all the things, in a way, that the, tr the Trump voters have tried to reject. Do you think he can succeed? Is this He's, the end of populism in Europe? Uh, oh, by no means. In fact, Macron is a good example of how the, fund the core institutions have collapsed. He came from the outside. Yeah. Okay. And the vote for him was substantially a vote against Le Pen, who is recognized correctly, I think, to be a serious danger. What about the British election? Jeremy Corbyn has been leading the Labour Party. They have an uphill task, according to the opinion polls. Have you any advice, any thoughts about how Labour refines its pitch and makes it to government in the UK? They should ask me to vote. I would vote for him. <laughs> I mean, you know, they, ha they have a problem. I think he's a very decent, good person. I've 
followed his career for some years. Uh, he's not uh, evidently not in inspiring the population. Uh, uh, how labor could uh, uh, labor has not come out with its program, so we don't really know what it'll be. But there's a sense of, of a lack of clarity about quite what he stands for. That's right. Which is odd because he was someone who was more clear yes, but, about what he stood just for for think decades. What, what's happened to the Labour Party over the last, uh, through the neoliberal years, it became, as many call it, uh, Thatcher light, especially under Blair. It did not represent the working class. I want to talk to you about Julian Assange. You've been a big supporter of Julian Assange and WikiLeaks, and many progressive people have looked at WikiLeaks and said this organization is on the wrong side of history. I just wonder whether you still believe in Julian Assange, despite the fact that they published emails of Hillary uh, Clinton stolen. I believe them. that he should, that the persecution of him is completely wrong. The threats against him are completely wrong. They should be withdrawn. He should be freed. He shouldn't have to be imprisoned. I visit the judicial process, though. Yeah, I mean, he, he needs the, to be questioned the judicial about process the, the accusations. Is pretty right? much a fraud. Is it? I think so. The, there's no reason why Swedish prosecutors can't interrogate him on the charge that they think they have. In fact, they've already begun to do so. What's keeping him in prison? And in an embassy, is, in prison, is his desire is, to go in there? Is the no threat, one sent him there. The threat that the United States will go after him. Same thing that's keeping Snowden in Russia. And is that is he right to, to, to worry about that of threat? Of course he's right to worry about it. And it's the threat that's wrong. As to what WikiLeaks is deciding to release, you can have various opinions. Uh, by and large, you, what's your opinion of leaking opinion? stolen emails, perfectly legitimate emails, yeah, just I, stolen and then put in the public domain? Uh, if they'd asked me, I would have not been in favor of that. So I don't know how they decide what to leak and not, but leaking inform the general idea of informing the public, informing citizens of what their representatives are doing and keeping from them, that's a good idea. Noam Chomsky, thank you very much indeed. Mm. Noam Chomsky there, in all fairness, speaking before the Mirror uh, leaked Labour's manifesto. I've been